is a $20,000 reward for information leading to the safe return of Gloria Jessica Huerta. She was last seen August 3rd, 2020 in Palmdale, and investigators believe foul play could have led to her disappearance. She's 27 years old, 4 feet 11 inches tall, weighs 110 pounds. She has brown hair and brown eyes. She's known to frequent the Palmdale and Little Rock areas. Anyone with any information is asked to call Crime Stoppers. The phone number is 1-800-222-TIPS. There's been rumors that she's been stabbed. Hi, Ivan. She had an altercation with her daughter. She's getting grimy or something, and he's shot. The guy that came out of that super car was the last guy that my sister talked to. Do not fuck with my life! And do not lie to me! My sister said when he came to the house, I got stabbed. I just don't want to be reported by any of the officers. So, and I'm the only one that knows. Right after he stabbed your daughter, Ivan burned down the trailer in a, in a ditch. There's dogs that went out there. Yeah, they had. They had there. dogs there. Okay, she's yeah. on that property. Where? I don't know. He didn't tell me that specific place he did. Said, in a ditch in the, back, in the backyard. My dad was involved with Ryan. He's the one that took the trailer. Because I asked him, I said, where's the fucking trailer? He said, it's already been taken care of. He goes, I need to turn. So he just stabbed her? He said he stabbed her. He didn't say where? He just said he stabbed her. It's been a year and four weeks since my sister has been missing. Uh, what the be fuck is this? Short, Hold on. But, but there was, it looks like maybe the... Because some girl texted him through Facebook and said that the girl that he's looking for is that her. Look. That looks like your fucking sister. So he <clears> sends <throat> me that, but it's a video. Send me the fucking video. He doesn't want to send it to me. He's editing it for you don't see the girl that took the video, her face. Why would she turn the camera around and video camera herself? Videos that I've uploaded and got information from people that are involved with my sister. They took the videos down. Everyone's been texting us. We've seen your sister. We've seen your daughter here and there. And every time we go out there and we go look, we find the person. And it ends up not being my sister at all. It's like we don't know who to believe anymore. I'm gonna say who's involved in killing my sister. I'm gonna say all the names right now. Uh, Tracy, Brian, Ivan. I'm just going off what I heard, son. I don't know what happened to her. But this is not her to stay away this long from any of her friends. She walked that way. On the video, she's walking that way. See, right there. In the video, she's walking this way, Connie. We heard that she has three kids already. But that girl drove in that driveway. If you look at the video, There's no fucking apartment around there. Hello. My name is Rita. My daughter is missing. Somebody gave me a tip that she was around here. Have you seen her? Look at, I'm gonna show you a video. That's this area. Look right here, like. Right here in front of your guys' store. Look at, they even sent me the address. That's the video. You could see her walking. The girl video cameraed her. You see her? I'm not sure. She says she walks this street all the time. It's not two story. My 
my daughter is missing, and I wanted to see if I could put a flyer on your window. Um, I was told that three days ago that they seen my daughter walking down the street, so I'm just up and down looking. You can put it on the ice machine. My daughter is missing, and somebody just showed me a video that they seen her walking. Are you from LA? No, that's Palmdale. Oh. She's missing from Little Rock and Palmdale. That's where she used to live. Oh. And that's my daughter. And apparently she called somebody saying that she got stabbed, that they stabbed her. So when we made the missing report and a police report, mm. they went out to her where she was staying in her trailer. Mm -hmm. And she wasn't there in every well, that's right here. Yes. That's why I'm out here. Because somebody sent me that video. And that's supposed to be her? Yeah. She has tattoos right here. One side says yeah. Jessica. And if you do see her, she has Jessica right here. And I can't remember what she has on this side, but then she has a tattoo on her arm too. She's a little tiny little girl. She, she don't even look like she's 28. Yeah. She looks like she's damn 17 still. She's really tiny and yes, she does drugs. So I, we don't know, we've been looking. I know a boy that walks around here all the time. He'll probably be. I just don't want to scare her if she is hiding from all these people because it's been a year and 15 days now. I have investigators looking for her. I mean, her flyers are all over the YouTube. Yeah. If your kids look at YouTube, they're yeah. probably, they probably see my video. But, so call, call that number or what? Yeah, that's my cell phone number. Okay. Yeah, Wait, the ice is free or what? No, no I think you gotta pay for it, son. Um, if you see her by any chance, don't scare her. Nope. Just like record her and call me right away on a different phone and say, hey, Rita, remember where I met you at the liquor store? Hi. Definitely not. I can't lay Too. Show her the video. See, they they sent me that. See, look at you're gonna see her walking right now. The girl's gonna record her. Look, she's right there walking. See her? And she's walking this way from that thrift store. Hmm. I think I seen her the other day too. If anything, you might want to check by the multiple gas station right there's Motel Six, right? I don't think she's. I don't know if she's still in a motel. But you know, cause that's I seen her like a, I think believe right there by the gas station, right in that area. You know because and then also right behind, right behind the yeah, like if you go. Out right here, uh -huh. and go into that next street right here. The right? street that's coming up right here. Yeah. Okay. I go on the side. Go to the end. All those are apartments. That if she's right here, then she's back there. Okay. You know what I mean? If you see her, baby, please give me a call. Okay. I My number's on there. My name is Rita. All right. I'm Clara. Thank you, Clara. I appreciate it. She's this way. Why would she go this way? She would have walked that way. It doesn't even look like an apartment. I know, but she said. The girl told AV guy that it, it's abandoned building, like apartments, that the girl stays in. Does that look like an abandoned building? Yeah, it does. It fucking sure does. That address she gave you, 999 6th Street, that's a fucking liquor store. You said, it, I thought she said she's staying in apartments, abandoned apartments. There's no fucking apartments. This bitch is lying. So the apartments are behind the liquor store. Because that's not the way she's walking. She's walking the opposite way. In that video, she's walking towards my house. She's going west. And the liquor store's east.
Americans best value. One time I seen her going inside those apartment complex that look they're boarded out there. Yes, brown. They're in between the Americans best value and, and there's apartments uh, see between O'Reilly's and this. Oh look at across the street. Look! Abandoned apartments. We're looking right now around. This is not even abandoned. See, these are different apartments. These are not abandoned, the ones behind us are. I gotta check if the doors are locked. Yeah. That thing's painted. Okay, hold on. So what does that mean? I don't know. Let me make a U-turn. Hey, because she looks just like her on the video. And I even, they told me that they seen you three days ago walking and they showed me that video. Yeah. So I, that was you? Yeah. I'm assuming so. I walk around with a backpack usually. I just haven't been walking around. Yeah, now. because right there before you get to the freeway were the empty, the houses that have the windows. Yeah. Well, the guy told me he seen you there. Uh, his car was parked over there because broke. Yeah, he, he's, he said, yeah, I think that is your sister. He said, you look just like her. Yeah. My son, this is my son. Uh -huh. The guy told him that you look just like him. Yeah. I said, well, are you sure that was my daughter? She goes, he, she looks like her. And then they told us that he uh, runs around a with year you. A year and two months. In a car that you keep on painting. And then the cops stopped you today? Uh-huh. That was you? That was me. See? It's not Gloria. And she has a chipped teeth. It's okay, Mia. You can keep it. She looks just like you. We get a lot of good information because of you guys. The support is like real. Like on August 3rd, 2020, my sister was in her trailer and she was getting ready to leave somewhere. My sister and Ivan was arguing over a handgun and supposedly a few minutes later, Ivan came inside my sister's trailer. He stabbed my sister, supposedly, well, the knife was like in her guts or something or whatever. She got her phone and then she called her best friend, which is so stupid. I'm not, I'm not saying my sister's stupid, but if you get stabbed, who you're gonna call first? Like, you're gonna call the cops. When I even stabbed my sister, she called her best friend, which I'm gonna let you guys know in the update that we have soon but my sister called her best friend supposedly and said help me help me i'm stabbed and the phone hung up my sister's best friend supposedly was trying to call back my sister but the phone went straight to the voicemail and everyone was trying to contact her ever since and no one has heard from her since august 3rd 2020 that was a year ago and four weeks like everything just like the 
my head ever since like a week later my mom got a call from the investigator saying there's a body that you need to identify we don't know if it's your daughter's body we found a dead body on the side on the side of the in little rock at this time i was at work i was working at mcdonald's and my mom picked me up and then she told me about it i was working at mcdonald's when it happened. I was working at McDonald's when my mom got the call and when she picked me up from work told me that your sister might be dead. She got a call from an investigator saying that you need to what I just said a few seconds ago. They didn't want to believe it at all. Like deep down inside like I was hurting and no my mom wanted to go literally that night beat. I literally said let's go let's go like I record I have a lot of unseen footage that I've recorded but I never posted them because of our safety and just because of what it makes sense but that's it i'm gonna update you guys soon with more details and more information